Information coming out tonight about that deadly bridge collapse in Baltimore. NTSB officials giving an update this evening on the investigation so far and on the work that had just been performed on that cargo ship right before the crash. Into the night, crews spending the evening still trying to piece together details of how the deadly crash happened. NTSB officials tonight detailing what they've been doing since the collapse. Our entire focus on scene is to collect the perishable evidence. That's documenting the scene. It's taking photographs. Officials now confirming the cargo ship had undergone routine engine maintenance while it was in port beforehand. Earlier today, search crews pulled the bodies of two men from the water, and recovery efforts continue to find the four other construction workers who presumably fell when the bridge collapsed. Video from moments before the collision show the ship's lights flicker off twice. Witnesses captured the moment of impact. Yo! After having just driven across the bridge for what they didn't realize would be their last time. I was in a lot of shock. I just was in a lot of disbelief. It was unfathomable. ABC News has obtained records showing that Dolly, built in 2015, has had at least two documented incidents in the past. A June 2023 inspection found a deficiency for steering and auxiliary machinery concerning gauges and thermometers. And in 2016, after it was involved in a crash in Belgium, inspectors issued a deficiency for structural conditions due to hull damage impairing seaworthiness. This image, taken in Belgium, shows the moment in 2016 that ship hit a wall. Now, officials tonight also revealed that the ship was carrying 56 containers of hazardous materials, some of which did spill into the water. Some of those uh, containers are flammable. Others included lithium-ion batteries.